to address the issues facing Tennesseans today. From 10 News, this is Inside Tennessee. Good morning and welcome to Inside Tennessee. I'm your moderator, John Becker. Before we introduce our guest this morning, this note. 10 News has extended repeated invitations to Republican Senate candidate Bill Haggerty to appear on Inside Tennessee, but we have yet to hear back from his campaign about scheduling an appearance. The Democrat for Senate has accepted, and she joins us this morning. Marquita Bradshaw, raised in South Memphis, a graduate of the University of Memphis, and at age 46, a veteran advocate for the environment. She won the Democratic primary by almost 10 percentage points and joins us to talk this morning about why she expects to win the seat held by outgoing Senator Lamar Alexander. Ms. Bradshaw, we appreciate you being here. We're going to get our panelists in in a bit, Don Bosch and Susan Williams. But first, what should people know about you that I didn't talk about in that brief introduction? Well, before you can get to leadership, you have to listen. And what I've been doing is touring across Tennessee on my transition Tennessee tour to address the issues that people in Tennessee are experiencing from uh, lack of health care, uh, problems with the environment, and also people wanting good paying jobs. And so those are some of the things that I've been hearing on the campaign trail um, across Tennessee. Given that, what is the first piece of legislation that you would e either like to write as a U.S. Senator or see passed as a U.S. Senator if you're to win? Well, we have a lot of bills that are back up in the U.S. Senate. That's one of the problems and one of the reasons why I'm running um, is because we have a lot of great legislation that just have not had any traction in the Senate. But of course, uh, the infrastructure part of the Green New Deal is what Tennessee needs to be able to have clean water, wider roads, broadband, and also clean renewable energy jobs that are that pay well. You talked about how the environment, the economy, uh, education are all tied together. Uh, what specific thing can a U.S. Senator do to influence the environment? What more should the U.S. Senate be doing? Well, right now we've had a rollback on environmental regulations, and a lot of those regulations are outdated. Uh, we have more information, we have more science, so those, those regulations need to be updated. The federal framework provides the foundation and the base, and then you have your, your, agent, your state agencies that actually do the enforcement. And so if your federal framework is weak, then you have what you have now, where people are filling in creeks and wetlands and it's part of our natural filtration for our water systems to protect our water for future generations. Tennessee Valley Authority came under some criticism recently by President Donald Trump. He suggested perhaps we might want to disband it, um, sell it on the free market, if you will. Do you think that's a good strategy or do you think TVA should stay as is? I think TVA has a responsibility to serve the people that it's supposed to serve and have oversight by the people that it's supposed to serve. And that's who should make the decisions about what happens with TVA. And so just personally, TVA should remain as is, or do you think there should be some changes either in leadership or the way TVA is structured? Of course, I would like to see more green renewable energy um, built in the infrastructure of TVA. And so, of course, TVA is supposed to change with the times and change with the technology. But you would still keep it as looking like the agency it is, a quasi-federal agency? I think that it's supposed to have the oversight that it has now. And uh, we can't just have someone who doesn't understand the role of TVA or too much of anything when it comes to government as it comes to Tennessee, that those are decisions that Tennesseans should make, not, Stick, not other people. Right. Sticking with the environment, uh, Senator Alexander, whose seat you would like to take, called a recent piece of legislation that he helped pass and was signed by the president, the most 
important piece of environmental legislation in 50 years, and it has to do with reducing the backlog in the national parks. Do you rate that as one of the most significant things that's happened in his term, or how would you characterize that piece of legislation and that change? Well, of course, we all want to see our national parks, our state parks, get the funding that, the, that it needs in order for people to be able to enjoy recreational activities and also um, protect our rich history of, of hunting and fishing um, in the state. However, when it comes to what needs to happen with environmental policies, this administration has been rolling back a lot of policies that have really impacted people's health and safety. And so there is a lot more to be done. Do you think that Senator Alexander's bill and now law was a good first step in that arena as far as uh, improving national parks, though? It is a good step but it's a lot more that can be done. All right, Ms. Bradshaw, we're going to talk money when we come back and some other political questions. We'll work in our panel as well. Stay with us. We'll be back right here on Inside Tennessee.